Trouble already. Cars in the wall. Danica Patrick, David Rudiman, and more down on the grass. And Kyle Busch. It looked like Danica was, was basically in the middle of the racetrack, you see, going into turn one. And uh, just made a kind of an erratic move, and the car just jumped them, jumped out from under. Well, very similar to what happened to Kyle Busch on the first lap of practice yesterday morning, although he was able to just maybe hit the side more than in the front. But the car just got loose as she tried to turn down in the corner. Still lined up outside. Three wide middle. Still three middle. Trouble turn two, Brian Vickers. Caution flag is out, a hard crash from Ryan. And you can see right here is Brian Vickers. He's sideways. It looks like he's trying to save it. And oh my, look at this little. Oof. Wow. Matt Kenjit scooped by there. What a terrible crash. And that's just what's happening. Yeah, with this tire and this track combination. And those cars, when they break loose, they just snap around. Wow, look at Truex and Casey Kane dodging there. And the 24, and around goes the 77 of Jones, almost up over the wall as they hit hard. That the 20 of Kenseth involved, as is the one of McMurray. A big wreck coming out of turn two. And now the red is being displayed as the cars are stopped in turn two. You see they're coming off turn two, and Eric Jones, car gets loose, puts a little bit too much wheel back to the right, and basically head on into the wall, and then major impact behind got him up in the air. I think that was Daniel Suarez, perhaps, that made the first impact. It looked like the 19 car, that orange and white car. But as we mentioned, the 20 involved, the one of Jamie McMurray, both involved in the playoffs, part of the round of 12. It says the big hit right there for the 20 car. You see Jimmy Johnson, the left-hand side of the screen, sliding through. Man, it's very good to see Eric Jones get out. That was a big, when those turn back to the right, look at this at real speed. Look how big this impact is right here. Husqvarna is the largest outdoor power equipment producer in the world. Visit Husqvarna.com. He just gets through the middle of the corner and off the corner so well. He can pick up the trouble oh, turn oh, four. Round. Here Trying to get past Paul Menard. A.J. Allmendinger spins. Oh, no. And Paul Geyer and Gilliland have a horrible collision oh, right at no. the start-finish line. Oh, that's bad. It is David Gilliland's car that comes to a halt in flames. Well, he's all in but there destroyed. Moving Window net going down, that's Wendell a beautiful down. thing. Justin Algar as well as David Gilliland. Car gets a little squirrely with him, gets a little loose, and here we go. And it's on. Boy, when he comes down the hill, and hits that Algar. 51, and that turned him in, that turned him right into a Gilliland yep. when he did that. And watch that red car shoot across the track right into the path of David Gilliland. And I guarantee you, Gilliland was on it, trying to get through it without getting in it, and he didn't quite make it. And that is unbelievable crash. Gosh, wow. I, I, I see wrecks like this, and I, and, 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 and I think about, well, back in the day, you wouldn't probably walk away from that car. They'd have to help you. Boy, he is, and he is right up against that wall, but he made the pass. Oh, oh trouble. Man. Hard and the big, wall goes big. Big. Byron noses in oh. heavy. Byron went in hard. Oh. Matt Kentz has piled into Byron right to, uh, to the 14 car right at the end there. 24 set down here on fire. 37, the one. What a, that was a huge wreck. Chris Busher involved. You can see William moving around a little bit. That's Ty Dillon. There. He's out of the car now. Matt Kenseth and William Byron climbs out after an incredibly hard hit. I'm not sure what happened, but remember, William only took two tires. Oh boy, they're four wide there. Byron on the yeah, bottom. He just gets yeah, loose he just, underneath. Yeah, he just the starts 14. spinning out, gets into the. Oh, man, it just. Oh my gosh, the car almost went over. Just hooked. 
nosed in. How many times have we seen a car land on top of, of a Ryan Newman? Ryan Newman? Yeah. I mean, I, that's two or three times I can remember. Too many. Remember, he was with uh, with McMurray down in Talladega when that happened. Matt Kenseth climbs from his car. Well, He's okay. That much damage, that kind of impact, it sure is good to see William Byron climb out of that car. It is, and this is hard into Ty the outside Dillon, wall, and then it gets Dillon rammed. out of his car. Jamie McMurray has climbed from his number one. Um, Chris Bush, are moving around in his car, has not yet climbed out. Huge impact. Well, let's ride with Getting crowded up there at the front right now with a 42. Oh, Whoa, trouble. Big, big, big crash. Danica Patrick and Joey Logano. Oh, man. And Eric Eric Roller. Roller. Holy smoly. Oh, heavy, heavy damage there on Danica. Those, those cars are killed. And Almarola piling in at the last second and going up in the air. Patrick Danica's quickly out. out of her car. Boy, she's out in a hurry. Woo. No kidding, the thing was on fire. And looking rather upset. Joey Logano's car is not going to make it back to the garage. Neither is Eric Almarola. The window net down on both of those cars. Signal to the safety crews the driver is okay. Now, Patrick and Logano were 11th and 12th. Almarola was back in 23rd. Cars stopped at the entrance of turn one. Let's see what happened here, guys. Oh, man. It looked like oh. the 22 just got loose. I think yeah. that. Oh, man. What, an, what a ride that Danica went Danica on. Danica took a heck of a ride into the, the wall. 43, and then the 43 just, just plowed in there. Yeah, he had nowhere to go. I think he committed to the outside lane. Pretty big impact by the 43, as you could see Almirola sitting in the with only 30 laps left. Yeah, it's we'll going to make your way through this field. 29 to go now as the green flag flies once again. Haley, not a great restart here as Ryan C gets off to a good start. And now they're four wide going into one. That's it. Oh, and round goes to oh. seven. Poured into the outside hang on, wall. Buddy, hang on, the hang seven. on, hang on, hang on. On the apron, the 21 of Anthony Alfredo was into the wall hard. He's upside down, sliding through one and two. like the 18 back there of Riley Herbst also involved. AMR safety crew will get to Anthony Alfredo quickly here. This will bring out a red flag as they will work to get Anthony out of the car. But two or three rows back, that seven of Justin Allgaier gets a big run, goes to the apron. Next thing we know, we're four wide on the apron, Jeff. Yeah, everybody's got to go. Everybody has tires trying to get in track position. And Algar was just on the apron, entered the corner on the apron, and ended up getting up into the side of the 21. Yeah, he ran out of, I mean, at some point, you have to make the corner. The corner has the banking. There were so many cars above him, he couldn't get up on the banking. It looked like he lost control. Take another look at it. Focus on that bright red or orange number seven back here. That's kind of where the whole thing starts. And normally you think you're going to get down here, and you're going to slide up on, into the racetrack, but he just never had a chance to. Algar just kind of, I think, needed to give that spot up and get out of the throttle. But knowing there's a race win, if you can make it work, maybe ahead of you just chose to stay in the gas. And look at this car. It gets up on its side. It's sliding. You know, these cars have roof flaps that design. Brendan's losing his nose, coming up on the track. And behind him with the 13 of Todd Bodine gets Ooh. into the wall. And hard contact from the 99. All right, we're done, guys. We're done. You all right, Todd? Another truck involved behind them. Yeah, I'm all right. A lot of debris. Here's oh. Newberry. He gets into the 13, into the wall he goes. He got loose on the inside. There comes the 99 of Watch Brian Stylus. Bam, up in the air when he hits that outside wall. All four tires up off the racetrack when Todd made contact. Watch slow motion here. Great camera angle, guys. Watch this thing fling into that outside wall. And that was a hard hit by the 99 of Brian Silas, but all four tires up off the racetrack. 
Brendan Newberry, right side of your screen, already into the outside wall. Wow. Big contact and then the hard hit into the wall once again. Most of the stuff that he had to take that hard hit from when he hit with the left front. Brian Silas had already tore a lot of it off, so that's... Oh, hard contact. into the wall already! The 7 and the 20! Two of the main contenders for the championship! And Cole right. Custer, Cindric. Allgaier got loose, got into the back of the 20. Allgaier into the wall. The 20 also major damage. Didn't even get through turn two. You see Cole Custer, the focus on his eyes as he's trying to get back to pit road. Austin Cindric, so much damage to the 22. There's the damage to the 20 of Christopher Bell. Justin Allgaier. Major damage as well. You said it. The two favorites right there. Justin Algar and Christopher yeah, Bell. Another favorite. Cole Custer. Didn't even make a lap. Here's a replay right here. Seven and the 20. Side by side. The seven just gets loose. Goes up the track. Makes contact with Christopher Bell. Bell backs it in the wall. Look at that hard contact for the 22. Oh, an absolute nightmare for the playoff contenders. Justin Allgaier and Christopher Bell right here side by side. The two drivers with all the points in their bucket. They have the lead coming into the race because of their performance in the regular season. They're going to give it all back right here on the initial start of the race. 98 getting in there. Big hit right here by the 23. Wow, that was a big hit. Yeah, Michael Annette came in there. And Spin, smash, crash. Huge. Kyle Busch's bad day continues, and he got Joey Logano as he was sliding down off the wall in turn number four. Nothing Kyle could do. Joey doing everything he could to avoid him, but could not. Let's see what happened to Kyle Busch and how Joey Logano got involved. Riding with Danica Patrick, it's up ahead. You'll see Kyle, the car just snaps out from under him again like it did earlier in the race. Stay to the bottom, stay to the bottom. All clear, all clear. And and he no starts cost, down the hill, and when back. it does, Joey Logano was trying to get by on the inside. You'll see Joey coming along here. He thinks Kyle's going to stay up next to the wall, but the car comes down, and that is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Joey was all the way on the apron. He felt like Kyle was probably going to stay outside up next to the wall, but the car was just coming down the hill, and... Look at that 22 car just goes airborne. What an impact. Oh my God. Wow. That is unbelievable. unbelievable. Kyle, not really a good day for you. Um, what happened out there? Spun out twice, all on our own. Just uh, don't know what to do with Kansas. What, what do you think about the track? Me otherwise, you just no grip on the track today? Uh, yeah, absolutely no grip for, for me anyways, but um, you know, you're running third, doing fine, car a little tight, and you spin out. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do with that. And then, uh, you know, we're back in traffic all day. Traffic's way worse. Just trying to get back up to the front and um, making some. Corner, and there's a little contact. Is seven ninety nine of Cindric is going to do it. Michael Self will go by. Four or five cars going to go in, and there's his teammate. The number twenty two is sideways, and it looks like Snyder is going to spin. Or Majeski does an amazing job getting by. Ash does. Oh. oh. Gus Dean made it through there, but it looks like the 10 and the 6 made contact, and that puts Weatherman hard in to that number 22 of Myatt Snyder. A lot of damage for Kyle Weatherman. Chase comes down a little bit. They make a little bit of contact. I loosens thought, up the 22 of Snyder. Boy, I thought he was going to be able to save it on that very first time, but then the car just got away. And as he goes up the racetrack, it appeared that Josh Williams must have made some contact with, oh, somebody. That looked like been, Brett Holmes. Yeah, Brett Holmes. The car and the 10 of Weatherman got together. Some guys really did a nice job getting. Watch, watch Majeski in that 17. He's going to turn hard right, completely missed. Here they come. Oh, 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 oh. And behind him, hard into the wall. Logano, there's Logano. The caution, Logano is wrecked. Did the caution come out before he got the white flag? Incredible job by Joey Logano not to drive up the racetrack and get in the wall to get that car corrected. That may sound like a little thing, but if he's in the wall, that his day is over. Daniel Suarez involved in this accident. Daniel Hemrick also. 
Now we'll have to go back to see if the white flag was received by Denny Hamlin before the caution came out. I think that's over, too. The caution came out first. That means... Oh, trouble. Oh, trouble. Jimmy Johnson, I believe. Around, headed for the inside wall. 16 to go. Greg Biffle around also. Dropping oil, guys. A lot of it. Should I shut it off? Yeah, if you're losing a lot of oil, just shut it off. Jimmy Johnson, after qualifying way back in 32nd place, had made up some ground in that second run of the race. And on the restart, I saw him out there three wide off turn number two the first time around, really making uh, what looked like some speed. But then it got all bottled up on him this uh, second time around off that corner, and there's the result. Biffle was chasing his car at the racetrack. And he definitely hit the left rear corner in the 48. And that sent Jimmy into the 51 of Justin Allgaier. Get there. And John West Talley, who's moved up into the second spot. Good battle between Brendan Poole in the 25 car as well as Kevin Swindell in the 55. Oh, got a spinner. Already the 52 of Chad Boat gets hit upside down as they slide down the back stretch. Chad Hockenbra also involved as well as the 16 of Lofton. I'm sure discuss what just took place. It was Lofton that got into the side of that 52. And up and over he went. But just before we saw that, it looked as though Mason Mitchell in the six was slow on the racetrack. Maybe saw the 52 sliding. You see the, the 52 is around sideways. He tried to exit the corner high coming off turn number two. Lost a little bit of rear grip. Got sideways in there. Here's the contact with the 16 of Matt Lofton. Chad Hawkenbra trying to stay out of that inside wall. And then a little contact late with Matt Lofton in the 16. Tears the left rear quarter panel off. You see, Chad, he just wiggled a little bit, then got his right sides up where nobody had gone. And it was just the impact from Matt Lofton's car that turned that car over. And that was right in the drive. And now he's through the middle of the contact. Oh, no. Harrison up into the wall hard. Burton into the wall. The nine of Noah Gregson collected as well. They come out before, and the eight just comes up and clips the 20 in the left rear. And Harrison just tried to get inside the nine. It just missed times. It catches the left rear quarter panel of the 20. Will wreck the 20 and his teammate in the nine. Series as we see a great side by side battle, Drew, but just a bit of an advantage, not for long. The last 24 races. Won. Oh! The leader's wreck. 18. Lock her down. Drew Dollar gets into the 20 of Corey Heim. They're both wrecked in the infield. You heard it there, frustration on the radio as the caution waves for the third time.